Item number SCP-6598 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures SCP-6598 is to be kept in a standard seabird habitat cell in Annex 7598, a subterranean bunker attached to Site-59. Three armed containment specialists, hereafter handlers, rotated every four hours, must be physically present in SCP-7598's enclosure at all times. In addition to feeding, cleaning, and other maintenance, SCP-7598 handlers are to keep SCP-7598's emotional state as stable as possible, as this has been proven to delay questioning events. The only entrance to Annex-7598 is a single bulkhead that can only be opened through a password being entered simultaneously on both sides. For H3T, Henderson Homotronic Translocation Turbines, the potential of collateral damage to Site-59 from the H3T system's activation has been deemed a necessary setback. This is because the system's anomalous power source is immovable from Site-59. The devices have been fixed at the cardinal direction surrounding Annex 7598. During a questioning event, the handlers have five seconds to reply with the following counterstatement. Verbatim. Not right now, sweetie. Maybe later. Any attempt made by any handler to alter or paraphrase the counterstatement is to be corrected by the other handlers. Lethal force has been authorized. If SCP-7598 does not air the counterstatement in the five-second window after its question, no further action can be taken. Following a successful counterstatement, the handlers are to record the number given by SCP-7598 in response. Any deviation from SCP-7598 speech patterns will result in the immediate enactment of Contingency 48 Bergadoon Green. In the event of Site-59 becoming compromised through containment breach, internal factors, or a K-class scenario, Contingency 48 Bergadoon Green is to be enacted. Contingency 48 Bergadoon Green 1. The single bulkhead that acts as the entrance to Annex 7598 is to be sealed immediately for a minimum period of 5 hours. 2. The acting subsite director of Annex 7598 is to maintain constant wireless contact with O5 Command for full investigation. 3. After a minimum period of 5 hours, if the all clear is given from O5 Command, the bulkhead may open. During this period, if the threat to Annex 7598 is determined to be great enough to warrant total isolation of the area, the O5 Council may issue an order to begin Contendency 48 Pegadoon Red. Contendency 48 Pegadoon Red 1. An evacuation order begins for personnel outside of Annex 7598. Personnel within Annex 7598 during a red event are to be considered lost. 2. A 5 minute period will begin to facilitate evacuation and allow the H3T system to initialize. 3. The H3T system will activate, spatially imposing Annex 7598 to its predetermined destination, point five seven seven EFF in the boots void. 4. SCP 7598's object class will be changed to unknown. While SCP-7598 does not need nutrition to sustain itself, staff are advised that it prefers herring. Using herring as a reward for more O5 Council approved penguin tricks is highly encouraged to improve the subject's emotional state. Description SCP-7598 is a male majestic penguin of indeterminate age. While it displays an extraordinary cognitive abilities for its species, SCP-7598 is indestructible, biologically immortal, and is capable of a limited amount of human speech. At irregular intervals, SCP-7598's primary anomalous trait will manifest in the form of a questioning effect, whereupon it will seek the following in a cheerful high-pitched tone, Excuse me, would this be a good time to explode? 
SCP-7528 has been known to initiate a questioning event regardless of whether or not it is in the immediate presence of a human subject. After the question is posed, SCP-7528 will wait 5 seconds to hear a response. This will result in one of two outcomes. If it hears the counter statement, not now, sweetie, maybe later, spoken by a human subject within a 7 meter radius, SCP-7528 will make a second vocalization listing a numeric value. This value will increase by 1 with every counter phrase. If, after 5 seconds, it hears no response or any verbal response other than the appropriate counter statement, SCP-7528 body will release a radio burst of heat and energy. This will reset the counter from the previous outcome. It shall be noted that the explosions do not follow the laws of energy conservation, resulting in a burst of heat generated from seemingly nowhere. In addition, regardless of intensity, SCP-7588 has yet to be harmed from one of its explosions. The intensity of the explosion in Outcome 2 is directly proportional to the last broken counter in Outcome 1. With every addition to the counter, the potential blast radius increases by 1.5 meters, and the generated heat increased by 600 degrees Celsius. This was confirmed through testing at Site-59 and the former Site-499. Not to be confused with the current Site-499 in Uzbekistan. The former Site-499 was located in the Mojave Desert and specialized in avian objects. There is no known maximum for this effect. Addendum 1. Initial Containment SCP-7528, which initially brought to the Foundation's attention in 1954, after its capture in Argentina the following year, it was brought to Site-59 for initial study, then relocated to the former Site-499. SCP-7598 was initially classified as safe. Containment procedures involved allowing for SCP-7598 to freely relieve itself with low-yield explosions in an isolated environment. Addendum 2. Initial Containment Failure On March 29, 1956, a catastrophic containment breach of SCP Beep at Site-499 resulted in the detonation of the on-site nuclear warhead and the destruction of the entire site. SCP-6598 has not recovered in an investigation of the blast site and was reclassified as neutralized. Addendum 3. Recovery and Escalation On March 22, 2023, SCP-7598 came back to Site-59 through the main personnel entrance. Exterior security footage displayed no signs of a courier. The current hypothesis is that SCP-7598 returned to Site-59 by itself. After confirming its identity, through the subcutaneous microchip in its neck, SCP-7598 was recontained. SCP-7598 made no questioning events until April 19, 2023. In addition, a Global Occult Coalition ID tag was found wrapped around its left foot. On April 19, 2023, a GOC double agent, POI-99553, was discovered and detained in the Site-59 custodial staff. In exchange for becoming a D-class staff member rather than termination, POI-99553 agreed to provide information regarding SCP-7598 and its relationship to the GOC. Interviewer Dr. Leslie Nysmith, Director of Site-59, interviewed POI-99553, male, Late 20s. Date, April 19th, 2023. Time, 1844 Greenwich Mean Time. Begin log. Dr. Nysmith and POI 99443 enter the walkway around SCP 7598's enclosure. Look, it's not like I can make you any promises about this. I went with a penguin at Camp Mulholland. Not every penguin everywhere. I'm not a bloody penguin Wikipedia. Does this penguin refresh your memory? 
I mean, I can't. SCP-7588 cools excitedly and runs up to the edge of the fence. How's it going, you little shithead? POI-99553 attempts to approach the fence, but Dr. Nysmith points to a nearby table with two chairs. Right, right. They said, what do you know about 7598? Well, on one hand, he's one of the coalition's little trump cards, and telling you about him would compromise a lot of important operations. Need I remind you that the terms of your plea agreement necessitate? On the other hand, my CEO's a freaking prick. So, here goes. That penguin was with us at Camp Mulholland. I wager he escaped through the crossfire during the raid with Sarkic cultists last January. Do you know about the SIH protocol? Very little. Mm-hmm. Well, let's say the whole planet's overwhelmed by an invasion of hostile alien and or extra-dimensional and or anomalous forces. You've tried everything, but the human race is either gone or completely without hope. So, what do you do? You tell the invaders, S.I.H. Supercard in Hawk. Choke on it. So, a failed deadly strategy. There you go. I failed to see what this has to do with SCP-6598. It has everything to do with him. Once we caught wind that Site-499 exploded, one of our spies grabbed him and took him to a temporal dilation facility where Marble beeping noises are heard from within POI-99553. You might want to get back. They both back away from the table. A small and sentry explosive device detonates in POI 99553's abdomen. Sorry, I really thought I had this thing removed. What was that? The charges picked up on my words. They must have detected that I was being ossified. Wait, no, this is wrong. How are you still so calm about this? A coalition scientist with my ability to feel pain. No, I will concede that this is really embarrassing. A larger secondary explosion detonates, killing POI-99553. SCP-7598 watches the burning corpse of POI-99553, making giddy and curious vocalizations. Daniels, I'm gonna need a cleanup team in here stat. Excuse me, would be a good time to explode? Not right now, sweetie. Maybe later. SCP-7598 nods. Beep. Approximately seven seconds of silence. Could you repeat that number? Beep. Noted. Thank you. SCP-7598 tilts its head at Dr. Nysmith. And log. Following this, SCP-7598 was reclassified as Keter, and its current containment protocols were put into place. Assuming that the increasing intensity of SCP-6598's potential is uniform, SCP-6598 each a threshold capable of causing an SK-class end-of-the-world scenario at least 30 years ago. As of the most recent questioning event, failure to hear the counter statement during a questioning event would result in a cataclysmic energy discharge that would expand as far as the orbital path of redacted. Addendum Question event number beep. Date, June 30th, 2023. Time, 0415 Greenwich Mean Time. Begin log. Handler 3 holds a small hoop perpendicular to the ground. Handler 2 dangles a herring on the other side. SCP-7598 glances through the hoop and hesitates. Come on, little guy. You want a treat? Excuse me, it'd be a good time to... Not right now, sweetie. Maybe later. Turn it down, Carlton. Frick! I can't keep doing this! What the you shut up? He's about to give the number. SCP-7598 stares at Andrew one inquisitively. Any second now. Okay, but when would be a good time? Can I see the schedule? And log. Uh, 